Well, welcome. We are backstage again, twice in one day at the Sinclair. My name is Jeffrey Morrissey, and right now I'm being joined by Adrienne from Big Thief. Adrienne, thank you for making the time for us today. Thank you for having me. How's everything been in Boston so far? So far, so good. It's been very relaxed. I just had some hot chocolate. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> yeah, autumn is really nice here. Uh, I, I went to school here in Boston, so I feel very nostalgic. Oh, really? What school? Went to Berkeley. Berkeley? Oh, it's, so it's like a whole like Berkeley reunion tonight. I guess so. <laughs> sweet, sweet. And then, so what do you have to do when you're back in the city? When I'm back in New York City? Or back in Boston, I'm sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, when I'm in Boston, um, there's not much other than playing the show. That's all right. Well, it will be a great show because your record, Masterpiece, a very apt name, is a great record. Uh, what was the toughest song for you to sort of write on that? Man, I don't, I don't even know if I could measure it. I don't know if I could measure by toughness or easiness in mm -hmm. terms of writing, but um, I think there definitely are some songs that took a little longer to write. Um, Real Love maybe took a little bit more time than the rest of the songs. Um, but a lot of them for that record came out pretty quickly. They just kind of came out in one one go, each each of them. Oh, wow. Well, like, that's the way that yeah. you want it, too. Yeah. There was just something around the energy that I was feeling during that time where I was doing a lot of writing. I was... It, I wasn't... We weren't touring as hard when I started writing. Um, and uh, so... I had I had more time to just sit in my room and often a lot of those songs came out within like an hour and a half. Oh sweet. <laughs> that's 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 awesome. So if you could describe masterpiece in like one word, do you what word do you think you might choose? Medicinal. Medicinal. I like that. I like that. So sort of like it was a healing process to write it in that way? Very much so. Well, that's good. That's good. And then you are touring solo right now, uh, sort of a different from the whole band lineup. How has that been going, and how is that sort of different than playing with the band? Um, touring solo is kind of like stretching for me. It's something that makes me feel really good, and it opens me up, and it, it gives me more a sense of my own body and my own space and my own mind, and it, it allows me to learn about sort of the next layer of things that I want to bring into performance. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can take those things back to the band. It's a little more lonely, but yeah. in that way, it's, it's I think, a certain amount of lo loneliness can be good for inspiration. And, uh, yeah. Especially when, like, traveling around, like, different parts of the country, too. Yeah. Was there, like, a city that you were really excited to be able to play on this run? Um... Well, the man we played in Harrisonburg, Annapolis. Those were two small towns I hadn't I hadn't heard of. Um, so that was exciting, just in that I hadn't been there. Mm -hmm. I hadn't been to them before. But I'm I was very yeah I've, I've been excited equally I think to play all of these shows. Sweet, sweet. And then so your band is sort of a, a newer band, but you've been playing music for a long time. As a young band, do you think of like one other band that you might be able to model your career after? Like if you could have like the career of one band, what would you say it might be? Oh man. I don't know about I don't know enough about the intricate details of any band's career per se. Um, but let me think. I suppose I'd look at bands who are in their old age and still performing um, and making songs that feel potent and relevant. So um, Leonard Cohen comes to mind. I recently saw him. Um, Radiohead mm -hmm. <laughs> is pretty badass. Uh, Neil Young. But I don't know if I would necessarily model my myself after after them. But what I appreciate is just the longevity and the of the writing. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the aspect that I really like. And sort of like, what do you look for in a writer? Like, what what, what is your quality or criteria for like a good writer, if that makes sense? They split me open involuntarily, and rip my guts out, and I don't even know why or how. That's a great way to describe it, because I feel like I mean I would identify with that, but I would never be able to put words to that. And I uh. guess that's why you're a writer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so what are some things that you like to do other than music? What are some of your like outside interests? Um, I like to write. Oh, okay, sweet. sweet. Outside, outside of writing. <laughs> outside of music. writing music, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. To be honest with you, any spare moment I get, I just sit and play guitar. I love guitar. I have an ongoing. Um, I'm just falling more deeply in love with it. But let me see. There are many things besides. I, I like uh, being out in nature. I like um, camping and hiking and um, just kind of running around under the stars. 
Okay, perfect, perfect. When did you start playing guitar? I started playing when I was six. Oh, wow. And then what, do you have like a favorite song to play or like maybe the first song that you learned how to play? First song I learned how to play was a song I wrote. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. I, I, I learned guitar through writing, actually. I didn't really ever have a period of learning other people's songs. Other than here and there, I learned a lot of fingerstyle blues when I was like 14 and 15. But I didn't, I didn't really follow the traditional route of learning covers and like practicing, you know, from, this, from songbooks. I, I actually just learned guitar through hearing things in my head and then finding them on the guitar and and um and just trying to play stuff that I would create and come up with. I like that. That's uh, that's really carving your own path. That's wicked cool. They Thanks. say in Boston. Um and then so if you could sit next to someone like for a cross country flight, who who would you want to sit next to? Oh, I'd want to sit next to my mom, my sister and my grandma. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they would they, they would provide nice company and good conversation. And then in these interviews is there anything you wish that uh, journalists would ask? I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I, you know, I think that what you just asked is the question I would have to say. Good, good. We always like to give people like a forum to like talk about what they want. So like, it's like, yeah. you know, painful if like we just ask like the same questions about the album over and over and over again. Well, I have to say that I really enjoy when, when, when journalists and writers ask about, um, like when they know the songs and, and they, they just have specific questions about like, about like you know about the meanings of the songs or the sounds that we were working with and like i don't know i guess i can just tell when it's coming from a place of of like really caring about the music i suppose that's the only th i suppose that's the main thing is when some when a journalist or a writer cares about the music and then they ask questions from that place they're usually really enjoyable to answer and talk about <laughs> Sort of like as a, a fan of your music, I think it's tough to listen to your music and not want to care about it. Just with the way that you write and the way that you sing, like mm. you listen and you're brought in so quickly. Like a song like Paul, that's like that gets me every single time. That is such a beautiful song. Wow, thanks. Um, and then, so uh, what are you listening to? Who has your ear right now, other than me? <laughs> Judy Sill. Judy Sill. Okay, nice, nice. Perfect. Well, this has been Adrienne from Big Thief. The album is called Masterpiece. She is playing with Margaret Glasby in Cambridge tonight, and then again with Frankie Cosmos in November, which, as we were just talking about, I'm so excited about both shows. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great night. You too.